Do you want braces? I'm gonna say yes, is that Me bad? Too. Hello and good morning everyone. How are you all doing today? I'm so happy that we get to hang out with you today. I just picked up the camera to say good morning with Hazel and as soon as I said good, someone knocked at the door. That was Hazy's ride picking her up. So unfortunately you don't get to see her this morning. We have a super, super busy day ahead of us. I'm gonna go tidy up the house upstairs, get the house cleaned up because it feels like so many days I'm often out running errands. I'm not ever home to like do basic stuff. So I've got lots of laundry to do today. I've got lots of picking up to do. I'm gonna get stuff done. And then this afternoon, kids have dentist appointments which I'm afraid and I'm almost certain they're not gonna go well because I can already see two cavities in Cruz's teeth. We're gonna find out if any of them need braces, how their teeth are looking. Ryler yanked a tooth out this morning already. That's off to an interesting start. We're gonna knock out haircuts. We have a lot to do today. I have to go grocery shopping. I don't know how I'm gonna make it happen, but I'm gonna do it. Rexy's home from school. Did you have a good day? Yeah. I am working on a Costco list right now. We're gonna go do a Costco haul in the next couple days. I have to do Walmart as well, but you guys. I was talking with one of my good friends, Sarah Tanner from Yawi Vlogs. You guys should check them out. She was doing, I don't know if it's called Cook List or whatever it is, or Walmart. Walmart grocery pickup. She's encouraged me to try that. I think I'm gonna do it. She has a great plan that she does. She wakes up early Monday morning, goes through all of her recipe books, makes her grocery list, and decides what she wants to eat for the week, and then does grocery pickup. She orders it all online. I think I'm gonna try it. I think I'm gonna go to Costco and get everything I need, and then do Walmart grocery pickup. So I'm gonna try it in the next few days and look forward to a Costco haul coming because we need a few things from there. I usually buy extra at Costco so that I do have stuff on hand, but recently I keep forgetting to check what I have on hand before I go purchase again. Almost every single one of these things is on my grocery list and look I have it all in my cold storage this was my last box of Nutrigrain bars so I'll have to buy those my mom found these on a really great closeout deal I bought these for $1.75 bought several boxes of those I like to stick a little treat in their lunch I literally just put Nutella on my list I already have that I have fruit snacks I have Capri Suns I have wheat thins I just put on there I'm able to completely restock all my treats and snacks and lunch stuff by just having stuff in the basement I also learned a tip from my good friend Jordan Page when she does grocery shopping if you need one you buy three I'm pretty sure that's what she says so need one buy three that way you always have a couple on hand for making that recipe again later. My princess is home. You look so beautiful today, you guys. I didn't even get to show you her outfit before she left. She's wearing this darling little mustard dress. I bought this little bun thingy off of Amazon. I linked it on her Instagram. And I put her hair in that and then I found this cute little scrunchie on clearance at J. Crew the other day for like a dollar. I'm gonna have a freaking school bun. There. I know. Let's stay on the tile today, okay? We spell um V, not not V. What does V say though? V, V, V. Um, well for a row, for a row. You did a good job. Snacks are all loaded. I also kind of reorganized all of those containers. I have some school snacks up here, but you can see I'm empty on a few. We have a few things going on this afternoon. Brexy's coming with me. Casey's staying here with daddy. We are gonna run to go get the boys' teeth cleaned. I'm sure they'll have cavities. Ryler Bingham, please come to the office for checkout. Ryler Bingham, just check the kids out from school. Getting out early today. Let's go get those teeth cleaned. Uh-huh. Ryler pulled out a tooth today at the swimming pool. I did not want it to get pulled out here, so I just went. Shh. I should have tried that a long time ago. <laughs> Hurry, run in there. It's raining, it's all wet. This is the part I hate the most because it makes you want to gag. Kind of does. You know what they told me one time whenever I felt like gagging? Is that you're supposed to pant like a dog. <laughs> I don't know if that's true. What? Or they wanted me to look stupid. What? I want to go last because usually Boys I get are waiting to be seen. Where's his big brush? They're getting their choice of toothpaste, bubblegum, and watermelon is what they've chosen. Brexy, what kind of flavor do you think that doggy wants? Probably watermelon like me. Mom, he has pretty dirty teeth. Are you kidding? His teeth are gorgeous. Oh, look Ooh. close. Yeah, those are those are some pearly white. Let me see yours. Let's see if they look the same. Okay, this place is oh. awesome because I get to do two kids at one time. And they have headphones for them, TVs up there that they get to watch. Do you want to have Moana or How to Train Your Dragon? Well, okay, well, this is the first one, yeah. Crew always needs the sunglasses because the light is so bright. He said he yanked out his tooth this he morning. He did, right so there. So he didn't have to get it pulled here. Ruby's getting his teeth cleaned in style. How was that? It was quicker than I thought. 
At your age, a lot of time we're starting to get asked about braces. Do you want braces? Honestly, yes. Is that you bad? Do. No, it's not. I say most do. He does. Um, open big. Ten. Bite together again. Wiggle that. I'd still give another six months. No cavity. Okay, I'm yes. Good job. No cavity. Yes. Okay, she's gonna do your fluoride. All right. He says no. next time he sees Rai Guy, he's gonna probably send him in for braces, which Rai Guy wanted him sooner than that. Okay, open big. Ooh, fluoride. That's just his baby tooth getting worn out. Dude, you have worn out spots on your teeth. I thought those were cavities. Yeah, no cavities. So that comes from eating too much candy, right? Or stone soup, whichever one you prefer. <laughs> Bite together. Probably will be a cavity next time, but I think we'll fall out before we have to fix it. Rex, you have cavities, I think. Huh? <laughs> you have cavities. I think you might have a cavity. That's from not brushing good enough. No. But they're right up here between these baby teeth, and we are hoping that they are gonna fall out before we ever fix them. That would be ideal. Never eat any candy that your mom gives you. Right. Did you hear that? Never eat candy. Well, I eat candy. Close. No cavities. Has one, but it's gonna fall out soon, so we're gonna call it no cavities. Rexy good. has a couple we're watching, so we're just gonna say no cavities that have to be filled. I think that's a good report today. Here's what's your favorite part about coming to the dentist. Yes. I knew it. Okay, let's go home. We just barely finished up at the dentist. These boys did amazing. Rexy has a few cavities we're gonna watch, but they haven't gotten any worse since last time. So we're just gonna keep watching them. Kruby, he has one cavity, but that tooth is gonna fall out. So he's like, let's not worry about it. I'm the only one that has no cavities. You're a rock star. Sugar-free suckers for the kids after the dentist. Good day at the dentist. We absolutely love it. Kids get spoiled here. Let's go home and start homework. Okay. Yay! Have fun playing in the rain. Got home from the dentist and we found a box on the porch oh. that oh. Kruby has been waiting for since we went shopping the other night. You guys know the other night we went and got shoes. They didn't have Kruby size in stock in the store. So I went ahead and ordered them. He's pretty jazzed on these. What are they, bro? What'd you get? Show everybody. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> black yes. on black. He really wanted black on black, lace up high tops. But here's, here's what's so part. sick. Yes. They awesome. zip up the back. The Easy. hardest part is to stick your foot on down inside off. these. Here, but oh, these let me lace them really quick. I've got a zipper in the back. You can slide them right on, zip it right back up. Dude, pumped about these shoes. What do you think? Do you love them? Love them. And love you guys have it. seen Rock Guy rocking his new vans. He loves those. Brexy's been wearing his sharks every day. brexton has got his shark vans. We gotta hurry and lace these up because we have people coming. The city. Oh, I think that's them right now. Let's go see. Ton of people coming to the house right now. We've got the city, the developers, the new homeowners for our backyard. Well, it's not our backyard anymore. <laughs> they own it. Who else is coming, sweetie? I don't even know, but there are like six, seven people piled up out there in the backyard, all standing around our trampoline right now. We're gonna go see what's up with that. We'll come back in and we'll give you guys an update. We just got back in from meeting with pretty much everybody in the city. <laughs> but we did get to meet the new owners and they're awesome. They're awesome. We are super stoked for the so. new neighbors as we knew we would be. Amazing family, they got two kids. They're gonna be a great addition to the neighborhood. Can't wait to have them We're come excited. in. But guys, it turns out we maybe shot ourselves in the foot with this whole thing. Big giant oopsie. Here's what happened guys. So just to bring you quickly up to speed, if you haven't seen the videos where we went and the stake was put into our yard and we were like, wow, that seems wrong. We need to get the city out here. The city came out, they looked at it. The surveying company came back out, re-looked at it. From that, it kind of went quiet. There's some emails back and forth and then they said, look, we need to get everybody on on site to meet and talk about this. And we're like, that seems pretty dramatic. So they came out here, brought everybody together at the trampoline pit, which could have been probably the indicator that something with the trampoline pit was probably wrong. So in their remeasuring, when they came out the second time, the so first time they would have just moved forward, there'd be nothing to talk about. But because we had them come out, <laughs> It's totally on us. <laughs> because we had them come out, they remeasured and realized that the trampoline pit, because of the cinder blocks that are underground that you can't see, cinder blocks. is one foot inside of their yard. So basically, we had a lot of options. We could fill in the trampoline, just stick with the original lines, and that was like the most easy walk away, no big deal solution. The we other could. one was keep the trampoline, adjust the line so we can keep it, but then we're changing the contents of our loan because now our lot size is different, which means refinancing our home, doing a lot of steps, costing a lot of money. Delaying their construction, delaying their dig, which we didn't want to do you know we want to no, welcome them excited. in and then also there was an option to put like strange anchor points so redefine the lines entirely which was another like paperwork nightmare additional cost for both parties involved and then again delaying the building process so we decided what we wanted to do was the one that was gonna be the least inconvenient to everybody involved we decided that we would just go ahead and fill in our trampoline to be honest guys we probably wouldn't put it back up anyway so it's not a huge deal we're just gonna have to rip out those cinder blocks and then I just thought as long as you're digging the hole in that yard can you just take the dirt from there and fill in the trampoline it kind of works out as a win-win because they need 
a place to put the dirt. We've got a couple scoops well, worth we can put in there. Dirt would ruin our grass. It costs money. So I feel like this is actually win-win for both of us as far as the whole thing goes. I do feel like it was like the most peaceful solution to the problem, but we are getting rid of our trampoline pit, you guys. That's the big that's the big news here. We've had a lot of memories on that. We've been here for almost three years. We've used it a ton, but over time I feel she like we've used it less. It. She has done a front flip on it, you guys. Turn down for what? Ah! I also feel like it's more used by people who aren't in our family. It just seemed like the best solution to just agree to fill it in. So that's where we stand on that, you guys. That was the result of this. I think in the end, this has been a great, peaceful conclusion I to this. It's been awesome. And then I think the lesson is be careful what you wish for, because you just might get it. You know what? I'm losing a trampoline, but gaining great neighbors. So hey, okay. great perspective. Wow, finding the positive in all things. That's how you bang them. So while we have somewhat of a backyard still, I'm gonna go ahead and barbecue tonight. I'm gonna run to the store right now, grab some propane, get some buns. Kids are gonna have hot dogs. Mom and I are gonna have some turkey burgers. Just taking advantage of the the last few months, I guess, where we still have a mountain we view. We have a barbecue with friends over. That'd be kind of fun. We have yeah. a week, it sounds like, before they start digging. Yeah, they're gonna be digging in a week, you guys. But I'm gonna grab some new propane. We're gonna get a barbecue going for tonight. That's what's for dinner. That's what's up. So hungry. You hear that helicopter, bro? Yeah, You guys having a little picnic inside? Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Hazy wanted the picnic table set up for her dinner. All about the picnics today. Yeah, we're all about the picnics, barbecues. We're trying to force spring into action here. Ah, spring into action. Rock guy's being a good sport. Even though he's way too big for this table, he's sitting down with Hazy being a good big brother. I just got home from playing basketball with the youth. Tell you more about that in a second. Stayed a little bit late because we were having some fun. I walked in the door and everybody's asleep. And I mean everybody. The kids are out, mom's out. Everybody's done for the day. So I'm gonna close this vlog by myself, telling you guys how much I love you and how much I hope I can walk tomorrow, you guys. Playing basketball <laughs> with a bunch of 16 and 17 year olds is a little harder than you might think when you're 40 years old. Physically speaking, it's like my mind knew what I wanted to do, but the body was not responding. I haven't run up and down a court like that in I don't know how many years. I am very interested to see tomorrow if I can even get out of bed, let alone and walk up and down the stairs. Thank you for joining our journey today. Thank you for being a part of our lives every single day. Super great news about the boys not having any cavities. Interesting update on Ragai and his braces. Sounds like that might be in the future. I did see a lot of comments saying that like there's no sense in doing them early. I don't understand why we would do them so early just to have to do them again later. Mindy is on board with doing them, so we'll see how that goes. Come back tomorrow, guys. Don't miss a beat. Don't miss a minute. So much more epic rad savagery to come. Tomorrow it's Hazy's turn to go to the dentist. So that should be adorable. So make sure you come back. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't. I have been reading all of the comments to come in. So thank you guys for all the love and support on the eye, as well as appreciating the fun and humor that we put into that. And we love doing that for you guys. We love entertaining you guys. And we get a kick out of ourselves. So I'm going to sign off for now, import today's footage, and get working on this vlog. And we will see you again tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Whoa.